Now, I am extremely proud to invite the 81st Governor of the State of Vermont, Governor Peter Shumlin, to the podium. But I want to just announce, as you all know, the schedule of the Governor is very busy. And as such, he'll be leaving shortly after his address. But I am in internally grateful that he comes to greet and congratulate the class of 2014, Governor Shumlin. Thank you so much, Madam President. Thank you all. And uh, let's give it up to President Judy for the extraordinary job she's doing leading CCD. <laughs> to my friend, Chancellor Tim Dolman, who's given us 10 great years as Chancellor, close to it. Thank you for your great work. <laughs> to the board, to the faculty, to the advisors, to the staff, mostly to the class of 2014. I can't tell you, as your governor, how proud I am of you today. And if there's anyone else in this hall who's proud of anyone up here, I want you to stand up and give them a hand. Come on, let's do it. Congratulations. That's right, you did it. That's your moms and your dads and your husbands and your wives and your spouses and your partners and your kids and your brothers and your sisters and your uncles and your aunts and your grandparents and your relatives and your steps. They're all saying they're proud of you too. That's right. Now listen, I would not miss a CCV graduation for all the world because I know that you and the people from back of you who are just clapping for you collectively worked so hard to get to this point today, harder than any other graduates in Vermont. I understand that, and that's why I am so happy to be a part of this celebration. And you know, as a, uh, I think the first out of the closet LD governor of the state of Vermont, you know, I'm dyslexic. I was born and raised in the state, had a terrible time in school, had a terrible time learning how to read, uh, did as badly as you can in grade school to get through it, and uh, didn't do much better in high school. When the only way that I went to college was by going to a two-year program that, that uh, the only one in the country that would take me, frankly. Uh, and you know, I did it the hard way. But I gotta tell you, that that's why I'm so proud of you. So many of you have gone a route that mommy and daddy didn't give you, that your learning style might not have made easy, that your life circumstance might have at times made you wonder whether you'd ever sit here today, and you persevered, you fought, you scrambled, you did everything you know how to get to this moment. And that's why I am so incredibly proud of you. You know, as a dyslexic governor, I want to give you one quick message. When you come the way you did, you live not only with a huge sense of accomplishment, but lots of fear. Let's be honest about this. You know, when I stand up in a crowd like this as a dyslexic, when I'm tired, which I am today, I'll often say, you know, it's a sunny day. But if, it's, if I'm tired, I'll often say it's a day sunny. Now, if you've got a president with a name like Joyce Judy, you can imagine how frightening that is to me, right? <laughs> I mean, is it President Joyce or is it President Judy, you know? My point being, the one lesson that I've taken from my struggle learning, and I bet from your accomplishment today, the one reason I have so much hope, and I bet you do too, and I know the people who came to be here today to support you have so much hope, is that you know how to fight harder, to work harder than other people, sometimes to get to the same place. You know how to scrap and to make things happen to get what you want. And why I am so hopeful is that you happen to be living in a state and a nation that has the second lowest unemployment rate in America, a state where we desperately need you, where our employers say to me every day, you give me more CCV graduates, 
people who are bright and capable and who have the fight and the determination and the ability to get things done in an innovative way, to make critical decisions and do it wisely. And we can double our companies. We can expand and we can grow and we can prosper. The one thing that stands in the way of our prosperity is not having enough of your friends join you getting to where you are right now. So congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I beg you, I beg you to stay in Vermont, live, work, raise a family in the best state of the 50 states. That's my plea to you today. That's right. And to remember that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that you cannot do, and your gown today and the degree being conferred on you today is proof of that simple fact. Thank you for being Vermonters. Thank you for your brilliance. Thank you for your accomplishment.